Oh, oh, you're back, are you? What's time to call this? Your tea's getting cold. Honestly. Nah, I'm joking. Hi, it's me, Ronnie Quick Chatter Bay, and welcome back to another instalment of YouTube Bay. So, today I thought I'd talk about some things that have interested me recently um, in worlds that uh, appeal to me very much. And. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry about that, it's still there, but it doesn't really matter. So today, I wanted to talk about a couple of things that um, have happened over, like past week. Not really about me, but just in the general public eye. And um, yeah, it's going to be a fascinating one, hopefully. So, strap in and welcome. Yeah, smashed it. Sp Fucking smash it. So, first of all, I wanted to talk about the Oscars. So, I stayed up and watched the Oscars live. And it was fun. Uh, I stayed up and watched it with my friend Andy. Um, hi, Andy, if you're watching this. I don't know if you do, but hey-ho. Um, I'm not hope, but... Yeah. And, basically... It, it was fun. Um, there was a lot of really great bits in it. Uh, one of my favourite bits was probably the um, uh, when Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dan DeVito came up on to our screens and um, <laughs> called out Michael Keaton um, with his little... I loved that. I loved to see him in Batman mode. It was great. Um, I'm just Ken. Absolutely phenomenal. And yeah, that was that was perfect. Um, John Cena, it, it it was funny, like it, it was very funny. Um, a lot of people have been sort of saying like double standards. I mean, oh, it's okay to have um, naked John Cena and um, not drag queens, uh, which I completely understand. Um, we obviously. Uh, marginalized in a lot of places um the u s i know um is particularly bad but um there's all these lies that have been put out about drag queens and um yeah there's there are some serious double standards i mean wrestling in general let's face it like these people in really skimpy outfits um, there's lots of swearing that goes on, lots of violence, and uh, I, it, it's entertainment, just like drag. Um, but drag is a place of love, and there isn't any violence, but at the same time, I do like a bit of wrestling. It is fun. Um, that's another thing that I've really liked recently, and the Cody Rhodes versus um, Roman Reigns sort of like drama going on there. Um, I am more of a women's wrestling fan, though. Um, yeah, I haven't really watched it that much lately um, because of, like, not really wanting to pay anything. Uh, I mainly watch AEW, uh, All Elite Wrestling, and, uh, yeah, um, I love the whole... I, I, I love Paige. I love Soraya. Um I, um, Jay Cargo, I'm really excited that they are in WWE. Just give her a match properly. Just give her a proper fucking match. Um, mind you, Royal Rumble, that was pretty sweet. Um, her taking out Maya Jax. Uh, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, what a way to enter. Um, to say the least. By herself. I, but, but anyway, yeah. Um, that was... That was very sort of double standard -y in uh, the media. And also just in general, it just feels weird that that is a thing that is really sort of um, uh, just wrestling's completely fine. People just kind of shrug it off. But because it's it's more of a straight people thing than drag, I would say. It's it's more acceptable and nobody thinks that wrestlers are going to like groom or anything. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah. But we all know that's the Catholic Church, so 
Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah. Um, speaking of questionable people at the moment, um, has anyone heard about the RuPaul book? Um, that's that's a that's something that exists. Uh, I have heard about this book and how he is making a underground bunker. So when the world goes to shit, um, if that may be soon or not, um, he will be able to use that to save himself and presumably other people he cares about. Husband, Michelle Visage, you know. Um, but he is one of the people who's damaging the planet. Um, fracking. So, uh, this is me basically saying that, yeah, I know I'm not going to be on Drag Race. <laughs> and I'm very happy with that. Um, Dragula, though. Hi. I think you're cool. Um, I'm not really in a Dracula kind of attire at the moment. I feel more like um, like Janice from Friends at the moment. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was some kind of weird gremlin kind of character. Like I t that was that was deranged. Um, yeah. Uh, um, but yes. Um, the whole like even Lady Bunny's going after Rue now. Like I, I did not see that coming. That was like I thought they were like that. Um, yeah. Uh, that that that's been some major drama. Um, I loved in uh the comment section though. Um, somebody said, "Oh, I'm sure Rue's not that bad." Um, and just like giving them sort of benefit of a doubt and Willem was just there sort of like they are a bad person. <laughs> um yeah, I think I think Willem's great. Um whatever I've seen Willem in is just uh fantastic. Um I am gonna say though, um I do enjoy watching Drag Race. It is something that has like it is very important to um the LGBT community. I mean, it's it's basically our football, really. Let's face it. We go to viewing parties. We have people who, um, um, yeah, who are genuinely obsessed with it, and um, I I enjoy it. I do. Um, but would I rather go to a a live drag show? Yeah, I I love local drag communities and. Um, the characters you get in them, and I, I love that. I love that so much. It's just community spirit, you know. It's nice, and um, I doubt RuPaul's been to one of them in a long time. I know they've been doing shows for like probably like book signings or some shit like that. Um, Got to make that money, honey. But yeah. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but that's all I was really going to talk about today. Damn, I went through that fast. Um, should I talk a little bit more about the Oscars? I think I should. So, I was very happy with Killian Murphy getting the Oscar for Best Actor. He is one of my favourite actors ever. I am a massive, massive fan of the guy. He is incredibly talented, and um, yeah, I mean, I've I've watched so much of his work. He um, very much inspires me as an actor. Um, if you want something kind of sort of LGBT related with him, in, go and watch Breakfast in Pluto. Breakfast on Pluto, yeah, Breakfast on Pluto, where he plays a trans woman. Um, in um, I think it's Dublin, and then they eat. Um, she goes to, uh, he as in Killian Murphy. Um, she, the character, goes to um the UK, 
and um, meets Brandon uh, Brandon Gleason, who's dressed as Womble because uh, he's working as a Womble. She ends up working as a Womble. Um, that's yeah. Um, it gets crazy. Liam Neeson's a priest. Um, uh, it's based on like it's a true story. Um, the woman was carrying kitten Braden. Um, I'd hugely suggest looking it up. But yes, um, Oppenheimer, I absolutely loved. I, I'll admit, I'm not ashamed to say it. I preferred it over Barbie. Sue me. But yeah, um, it, what a win. And then there was Emma Stone in Poor Things. I hate that film. I genuinely hate that film with a passion. I think it was just shock value for the sake of shock value. Uh, come at me if you think I'm wrong, but I truly believe that, yeah, I didn't like it. Um, I don't understand why I got Oscars. I don't understand why people are raving about it. Um, if you can explain why I should like this film, tell me. Just tell me. Because I'm I'm open to opinions. Um yeah. Um but I think um the actress who played the the lead um the female lead in Killers of Flower Moon personally should have got it, but that's just me, you know? Um could have made history there. Silliness. Absolute silliness. <laughs> <sighs> I guess me works up. So, yeah, um, I I was very kind of pleasantly surprised overall. But um, apart from poor things winning awards, I was just ranting about that a lot of the night. But yeah, that is my little mad video for you all. And I think I'm gonna do some more videos in a minute. Um, so, um, watch out for those. And titty bye, Ronnie Clichella Bay. <laughs>